Capricorn, Capricorn, welcome, 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 welcome to the big blue house, welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house, whoop, whoop. welcome, 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 week two for my cappies, week two for my cappies, week two for my cappies, yep, anywho, all right, current energy Capricorn. I'm feeling this one too. All right. What he or she is feeling. What he or she is feeling. Somebody's paranoid to play with you. Chewie. Somebody's letting somebody else get the best of them. Do you realize children came into play for all Earth? Or did it come into play for Taurus? I feel like it was finances and career, but something. What you don't see coming. Somebody to love. Possible outcome. That's too many possible outcome. All right, and current past two minutes ago, two weeks ago, two days ago, 22 months ago, two years ago. Okay, 20 years ago, a lifetime ago. Who the frickle fix knows? Okay, this was somebody who didn't have the courage and I almost said didn't have the balls shame on me because I'm I'm not an asshole okay so this is somebody who is not saying how they feel they're letting other things stop them is it safe is it not this came up in the Virgo extended um the whole safe or not and then pay attention to red flags. So something's, something's going down and this other person's not even seeing it. And I don't know if it's anything to do with you. There's, there's true love here. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to back, blah, blah, blah. You know, yada, yada. Cappy. So somebody's about to make a decision. And then it's like, is it too late? I don't, yeah, see, is it too late? I just got that same exact vibe. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome and then judgment. You know, so this is, there's, there's a challenge. Someone's like, oh, can I have it? Can I not? You know, is it, is it too late? Is it real? Um, this is like paranoia too. This is, it's like somebody should have said something and didn't, wanted to say something, didn't, you know, fear. I want, I'd like to use that word. Some of you, you're dealing with just straight up no good people, okay? Because I said didn't have the balls, which means that person still won't have the balls. That's probably for those who are dealing with a karmic situation. Because the energy is like a little karma. This does feel like more like fear. So it's like you are calling in your soulmate though. Something's bringing you guys together. It just doesn't feel like you're on the same page right now. Won't you bring me somebody to love? I, I think you will put through the ringer. And this is why that song is like, somebody, somebody. But I feel like you met somebody. Or well, this is somebody who's like, oh my God, what did I do? Is it, is it true love? Or like, what did I do? I should have just said something. Children right now is a main focus though. So you're paranoid. It's almost like, and if you don't have children, you know, I, I guess disregard, but it says your love life's being affected by children. And if you don't have children, it could have been something that went down in your childhood and how you were raised and what happened between your parents and yada, yada. 
So it, it's it's great to to love your children and consider your children, but when it comes to your own happiness, you have to do what's best for you. You have to break conditioning. And this is like I'm paranoid. This because this is all about opening your hat. You know, saying something, but but not. Yeah, see, Ten of Swords reversed. It, it's it's going to get real ugly real quick if you don't face something. Yeah, your own your own happiness. Like, you have to see, like, it's, you ha it's, it's like safe. It's, it's almost like a wish. And again, judgment. You got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Are you worried what somebody else... So this is basically telling me, if you got kids with somebody, or this is a parental thing, you're worried how your parents are going to feel, or your, your kid's mother is going to feel, or your kid's father is going to feel. And it's your, it's your own happiness, like I said. It's... it's. It, I want to say you're in a tough dynamic, but you're not. I want to say it's complicated, but it's not. Love, simplicity, make it happen. And if you're dealing with somebody who can't, I wouldn't be waiting around unless they're asking you and you feel like you can trust a situation and it feels right to stay in a situation where somebody needs help or, you know, something like that. But a majority, I'm telling you, you're, you're calling someone else or they're calling you in. Tell me, pay attention to red flags. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes I'm like, it's you're not following your gut with this card, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that. This is temptation this is let me try and it's like there's not mutual love that's love or this is awesome sauce love but yet you're letting another situation stop you and and that means there's something shady going on with the other person that you're not seeing that you're allowing to instead of distancing yourself, you're allowing them to have like some type of say or something. Keys on a ring, options, decision, unconditional love, stringing along, one night stand. And then you got abundance at the bottom of the deck. See what I mean? It's, it's like, mm. it's, it's, it's like not making a decision. You got a freaking true love right here. That, that's telling me somebody on the other end is doing something shady that somebody else doesn't want to see. Well, one night stand turned into true love, but there's still something shady as shit. I feel it. I'm very good at what I do. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Clean yourself up. Yeah, see, you're giving too many fucks. Giving too many fucks about how other people feel about your scenario. Was it a one-night stand? Ended up being love? You know, and, and, and somebody's like in a fucking frenzy. But again, giving too many shits about how somebody else feels is it's sad. And I don't think it's just linked to the, the kids. And you can give me a hard time as a reader for that. And I know I'm getting feisty. But don't let kids interfere with your happiness. If you know this is true love, where can this fail? I don't know why I'm getting so feisty. I'm sorry. Not sorry. But for real, it's, it's like a wish come true. You know? You're giving too many fucks about how other people are going to feel about your decision. Tell me about true love. This is like, you're not moving forward. Yeah, see, I don't know if you're trying to keep your options open here. But it's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that when you want to fight for it? So it's like, why? Why are you doing that? This is playing hard to get. 
or trying to get strategic, trying to figure it out, but you're not putting enough into into that. This is a challenge. Yeah, see, somebody wants a new start. So you have an ex or somebody watching because that's a challenge. Trying to block it. Yeah, see, trying to block it. <gasps> block, block, block. Is someone trying to block the cock? Anywho, with a cooch, you know? It's, but you know what? <laughs> Shame on you. It, it really is it's such, um, when, when this comes out, it's like allowing. This is giving too many fucks. Stop giving too many fucks what other people are going to think. Oh my goodness. Tell me express your love. So this is somebody, you or them, that wanted to say something and didn't. See? But they didn't. Or if you did, this would be like putting somebody in their place. Like, wake the fuck up. This is two cards of wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up communication. To me, it didn't go down. It just, it didn't. Because that, I mean, you wouldn't get that unless you were like, you know what? Screw this. And now this is all this other energy being like, what the fuck? Yeah, see, this is somebody who's now emotional because they didn't apologize or say something, lost an opportunity. Yeah, see. Yeah, I'm just like now to like stressed out with the worry. Well, worry shmurry. Okay. You want to go after it. This is somebody who got real real with somebody. I don't know if you intimidated somebody. Yeah, see, this is almost like wrapping something up, too, the vibe I'm getting. Because it, it, you could have just expressed the truth, what they did with somebody else. Who knows? But it's like, wrap it up. It's, it's time for a new chapter. You're holding on to something. That's It needs to be wrapped up. Tell me about very soon. Now, this is what you don't see coming. Somebody to love. Again, back to that song. So this is somebody who wants to put the work in, wants to go out, wants to date, wants to give more. But this is somebody who's like a workaholic. So instead of focusing on love, they're too focused on work. But this is somebody who wants to put the effort in. Sees you as part of their future. You know. You're going to have to decide if it's, it's worth you, if you even want to put the effort in. Tell me calling your soulmate. So this is somebody who's manifesting you. But is not, not really doing anything about it yet. Yeah, see this is somebody who... Who wants more? Could be dealing with a Leo. But he's like not even looking. This would come next. He's looking at her. Trying to figure out how to do something. Yeah, but see, it's like lies. He wants to go in a new direction. Queen of coins. Somebody more nurturing. This is a future partner too, guys. This would be like a second marriage. King, queen. What goes this one? Because he's, he's looking over here. Looking at her. But turning the back over here, seeing something more. Or well, this would be you guys, right? But there's already this. And there's lies, deception. So I, I don't... This is somebody who's like calling in their soulmate, but already has something that needs to be wrapped up. And I'm telling you, there's something shady going down over here. Because it's like, pay attention to red flags. You know, it, it's like the other person that they're dealing with is doing something shady as shit. 
and someone's still blocking this. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, yeah. It's so obvious. Capricorn. Yeah, see, I said true love. I want to feel that way again. So it's like something got ruined. We'll be together again. So somebody is convinced. And you know what? Maybe, you know, because it's, it's true love, but it doesn't mean the other person feels like that because right now it's like, you know, somebody let something else get in the way. So, I, you know, I don't know. Not not a good scenario. Um, it, it's almost like some of you chomped somebody's head off and was like, pull your shit together. This, you gave someone like a wake up call. And this other energy is, is feeding another energy. I don't think sexually, but like allowing another energy. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you look like a shit show. So I don't know if you're pretending like everything's good and you know it's not. But it's like you're giving too many fucks about how somebody else is going to feel about your own choice. Or how your kids are going to feel with your own choice. But then it's like there's something true here. And, and someone's trying to get strategic and figure out how to come in. But yet you got someone, you know, blocking little cock blocking, coochie blocking, you know, and it, it's, <laughs> this could be a loss. I, I, I don't, I don't think so though. This is somebody who's like, I don't know if you've both been married. This is definitely like a second, this is like a second marriage coming to, like, there's a life partner here. So I don't know if you were dealing with a Leo in particular because that card came out first. Outdated thinking, you know, playing events over and over. Let's see what this is, the Queen and Cups over here. Karmic relationship just wanted to come out. Coffee, see, meeting, conversation, meeting up, friends. Probably wanting to be more than that, but there's a, a, certain, a current situation. It's like missing you. Unsure of the future. Well, unsure of the future. You got someone who balances you. You're unsure of the future because you, you're giving too many fucks about how somebody else is going to feel about a situation. When you can have something you want. Others of you, if there's no children involved, like I said, this has to do with your upbringing, parenting, your own happiness, what they want for you, what they don't want. You're trying to figure out now, like, I want this, I want that. So whether you're dating or you're single, it's, it's like you're trying to pull something together. But if you're stalking somebody else, then you're like, oh, you know, be careful because you're dealing with a player. Okay. And you may think it's pure. And this is you wanting to feel that way again, being with somebody. But I'm telling you, some of you are dealing with a straight up player. And others of you, this could have been someone you were married to. And then they got remarried or you got remarried. And I was like, do I want it back? It is craziness here. But it's like calling in your soulmate. But yet, you still have some type of official paperwork with somebody else. But you, you do, you have another future partner here. It could be a twin, you know, it's just somebody you compliment each other. But right now you're not together. They're yearning for you, missing you. They are trying real hard to call you back in. But here's the thing, there's, there's no action. That's the problem. And it's going to continue to be a problem until this person pulls it together. It's like hiding... Hiding a situation, not wanting to hurt somebody from the past. So to me, you're dealing with somebody, who, or you currently, you already know it's, it's a meant to be scenario. It's true love, it's pure, it's raw. I think you gave someone a wake-up call, and I think you told them to pull their shit together. I, I think you would be fully aware of this. And this is this is it. I mean, you got three cards of judgment, judgment here. You got judgment, 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 worry. You know what I mean? It's, it's very unfortunate, you know, you got somebody who's going to be envy of the situation, you know, not going to be happy that this person's choosing somebody else, but that's what it looks like it's, it's going to go down. And then you're going to have to choose because now this energy wants to put effort in or somebody wants to put effort in. 
I don't know if you both have kids from a different scenario and that needs to be worked out. It's time to sit down, have a conversation, figure it out because you're letting it interfere if you guys are all together and happy, you know. Um, boundaries, got to draw the line. But stop acting like everything's okay when it's not. You know, somebody's trying to ruin something. Someone doesn't want you to end up with somebody. And it's almost like you're like, oh, don't worry about it. Or I didn't like it. It was just this. It was just that. You're going to fuck yourself over. It's so shitty because you, 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 somebody here dug themselves a hole already. So it's time to unbury yourself. It's the only way out. If you want happiness. Okay. All right. We'll see you on the other side. I love you. Bye.